with someone who's well known across Hawaii Island, that is Ikaika Marzo, who played a huge role in organizing community efforts in the wake of the 2018 Kilauea eruption. He's joining us live now to talk about this. And Ikaika, in hearing that the lava is now spilling out of the summit area down that northeast rift zone, really heading toward your part of the island, how concerned are you about this new development? Um, it's still far away. You know, it's it's it's. Oh, we just were up there this morning, and it's built out uh, this morning, but it's still far away. It's in the Puaku Training uh, Center area, PTA, um, and there's a flat area between Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. It looks like it's going into that area between Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, and then, uh, and then probably, hopefully, it fizzles out in one, once it reaches the flats. Yeah, this is only about eight hours old at this time. It's pretty new mm -hmm. stuff. But I wanted to ask you kind of to put this into context because you were really on the forefront of that 2018 killer eruption with those huge fountains and right. it happened so suddenly. How does this feel different to you? You know, what? what's the difference between um, the uh, 2018 eruption? That happened in the middle of a subdivision. And that's where people were, were getting infected right at the moment when it erupted. This is in a remote area where we can still prepare the people to evacuate at any, any given notice. Um, so the difference between that, you know, lava is spewing out, uh, out of your, your driveway till we can see it from afar. So um, that's the difference that we see now. Ikaika, we have been reporting and tracking this for months now with public officials, knowing that there was activity, but not knowing exactly when an eruption would happen. Do, are you getting word that, that the public feels like they've been well informed throughout this process or no? You know, actually from the 2018 eruption and this eruption, a county government and a civil defense government made an effort to go out to the community and, and you know, get the community aware of what's happening on the mountain especially during COVID, you know, they wanted to be proactive during the COVID, COVID scene and, and they couldn't be, it was impossible for them to be um, proactive during that time. But, you know, we just had a meeting in Kau where our county government officials and they got all the people together, the main agencies to, to address the co community of what's, what's going to happen in the near future, which was this eruption on Mauna Loa. Ikaika, do you get the sense that the community is taking this seriously, even though there's no imminent threat at this hour? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, you know, if you look in the Kona area, they haven't seen something like this for over 40 years. And something like this could spur up panic. And that's what we're seeing right now in, in the lower, uh, in the South Kona district. We just want to emphasize that we don't want people to be panicking right now because we know that the eruption is happening, but it's so far away. So we can, we have time to um, notify our community on uh, the proper evacuation process. So, um, you know, there is a lot of panic going on right now in our community. Yeah, I know there's- And we wanna, we wanna make sure it's, it's, it will stop. Uh, it's a good point, Ikaika. And we heard from uh, Mayor Mitch Roth earlier this morning. He was live on Sunrise saying, do not panic. We are monitoring this. We just want you to be prepared. So we uh, wanted to reiterate that message. Yes, yes. Do not panic um, and be informed. Stay informed. Be, uh, you know, be informed with the proper um, agencies, Facebook uh, accounts, and like Hawaii Tracker, they're, they're, they're doing a damn good job on notifying the people and what's going on. So um, we, we just want to say a big mahalo to those people. And we want to say a big mahalo to you, Ikaika, for being here on Sunrise today to talk about what you're seeing and hearing over on Hawaii Island. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having us and, and good morning, Hawaii. <laughs> and good morning to you. All right, 741, we'll continue to track this on air and online. So stay with us here on Hawaii News Now.